Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. In this Tips and Tricks episode, I'm going to go over how to assemble a slow pitch jig. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. So typically, when you purchase a slow jig, also known as a slow pitch jig, from your bait store or wherever you may purchase it from, it comes like this with no hooks on it. Your end product is gonna look something like this, where you end up with two assist hooks on top, two assist hooks on bottom. Sometimes you have to buy split rings Sometimes you also have to buy solid rings. So before we go any further, I want to stop and say you're going to need a pair of split ring pliers. Looks like this. It's got a little tooth on top. What this does is this opens and closes split rings so that you can put on your hooks and run them through the solid rings and effectively rig your jig for fishing. You're going to want to get comfortable with using a pair of split ring pliers because you're going to use them a lot once you get into slow jigging. So it's time to get into the assembly. All right, in order to rig a slow pitch jig properly, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your selected slow pitch jig. Two split rings. These are 100 pound class split rings. A pair of split ring pliers. Two sets of slow pitch hooks. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put the split rings on our lure. The first thing we do is we take the split ring and we open one end of it with the split ring pliers. Now we are going to take it and we are going to fasten it onto the lure. Once you feel it bite onto your lure, you just sort of wind it on the same fashion as you would a keychain. Now we are going to install the other split ring on the other end of the lure. All right, now we have split rings on both ends of the lure. Now we are going to fasten the hooks onto the split rings that we have attached to the lure. So it's the same process. You find the open end of the split ring. You pinch it open with your pliers. And you take the solid ring of the hook and you insert it. And then just like you're putting a key on a key ring, you spin the split ring around until it is completely fastened to the hook. Now that side is done. Now we'll do the other side. And there you have it. Now your lure has hooks on both ends you are ready to fasten it to our rod. So that's the basic gist of how to assemble a slow pitch jig. Now the next part of the process is to hook it onto your line. Normally when I am out slow pitch jigging, all I have at the end of my leader is a solid ring, just like this. This is a 60 pound solid ring. And what I'll do is I will hook the top split ring from my lure, which is also hooked onto assist hooks, I will hook that onto this solid ring and then I will go off and start my jigging. What this ring does is it allows you to change up jigs all day long uh, depending upon the conditions, what's biting, or uh, your depth. The next step of the process is to take our lure that we have rigged up and we're going to use the top side split ring to hook to the solid ring of our leader. We find the open end of the split ring, pinch it open, take our solid ring, and now 
your lure is fastened to your reel. You're ready. Dip it in the water, get that line all wet, and go to town and catch you some fish. And that's the basic gist of how you go about preparing and rigging up to get ready to do slow jigging. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned how to assemble and rig up slow pitch jig. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.